Hi everybody. Today is January 27th and here's my winter garden. Nothing in it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, this year I was feeling a little guilty that I didn't spend any time like even attempting to make a winter garden and I really I was feeling bad. I was thinking why don't I do a winter a uh, winter garden. I, you know, am I just lazy or what? And I'm like, no, I live in Wisconsin. I'm like, yeah, but like I have a friend who actually grows. She has a couple times. She gets some real thick plastic and she has kept like lettuces and I think some kale and stuff going all winter long. So I'm like, oh, I really should be doing that. But thankfully I couldn't get myself to do it this year. I just needed a break and um, we had record snow after no rain last summer. Here we are. We have 18 inches of snow and it was two weeks ago. So this is actually down like right over in here in this area. Um, that snow is over my knees yet. It was, it was 18 inches of snow, but it drifted all over the entire farm, um, to over about four feet. Uh, it was, it was, I have not seen anything like this in probably over 20 years. It was just, it was crazy. It was the really like one of the worst storms that there's been in a very, very, very long time. Um, so we are thawing out here now. It's been in the 30s all week. But now we keep getting hit with this dense fog. And you can kind of see it out there. It's kind of building up. I had done a video the other day. I haven't posted it. But you couldn't even see these houses over here. See, there's like... A fence right there uh, that was where uh, the neighbors have strawberries in there and their fence it's mostly knocked down but there's still some standing but you couldn't even see that when I was standing right here um, so you can see it it's coming I think we have an advisory that's gonna start in about half hour to an hour so probably within that amount of time we're not gonna be able to see that subdivision there or the barn behind us um, usually you can still see the trees, but even some of those, I mean, you can only see them so far up. That's how I can always tell how bad it is. I'm like, okay, I can see about a third of the way through the yard, but I can see it. It's all just, it's just, it's like getting worse as I'm standing here. So it's going to get pretty bad. Um, so anyways, I had to make a video because all I think about is my garden all day long. It's horrible. Um, and it's, it's like been in the thirties, so it's, it's getting there, but I'm not even going to start my seedlings for at least another month, probably to a month and a half. So, um, I know a lot of people are already starting them, but I just can't hear it. It's just too early. I think the first year I tried to do my garden, I started in February and it was just too soon. It, it was way too soon. And then last year I started in April and that was just too late. So this year I decided that maybe March will be perfect time to start. So, so that's my plan is to start in March. I did buy a bunch of seeds cause I was up the other night and you know how that is late at night and all of a sudden you start seeing seed advertisements and yeah, so I kind of went crazy and bought quite a few seeds. Um, I've not opened the boxes yet. I'm hoping to do a video of that so you can see what I all got because I am so excited. I wish I was a little better at teaching because I just wish everybody would just grow, 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 grow because it's so much fun and I love it and um, I can't wait for this year. I really wasn't planning on doing much this year because I need to work on the barn but I can't help it. I, I have to grow a garden. So I'm hoping to make it as self-sufficient as possible this year. Um, I, it should be better. That's why I spent all the time last year was so that this year wouldn't be in future years would not be so hard. So I'm hoping it's going to be easier to start this year and um, figure if I clean out like one bed a day and maybe get them planted, it should, shouldn't be too bad. I want to add, I'm thinking of maybe adding about 12 beds. I'm hoping that's enough. <laughs> I just, I can't help it. I want to eventually go from this side all the way to that side. Um, and, and I'm probably halfway. It's, I, maybe not. Yeah, I think it's about maybe a third. 
So I still have like two thirds of the way to go yet. So I'm thinking 12 this year, I'm gonna add 12. I did buy some of the drip line stuff for this year. So um, I'm gonna try that. I have, I don't even know, I know so little about it that I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough for like one little row or uh, for what, I have no idea. I don't even know how much of it I have. So this is gonna be an adventure this year. So that, that's like the big thing this year because watering is really, that's what took me the longest last year. Once I got everything set up, which took forever, um, it was the watering that took a lot. And I do like hand watering because I like looking at my plants every day. But if I could at least do some of it or do certain things that I don't need to watch quite as good, um, like maybe beans or something, at least get drip line by them. Um, I think that would be great. And even the tomatoes. And I can still walk through every day and look at everything. Um, so I'm hoping that that's something that will just make things go better. I have a couple compost piles here. That's what's there. Um, so I'll spread those out. Um, I was planning on adding some of the beds on there, but I really think I should go the other way with the beds. Maybe I'll do some this way and then the rest the other way. Um, so that's not, that's not ready yet. I still have a lot of planning to do, but those are the big things. The water, the water I think is gonna be the biggest. Um, and I need to work on getting that grass out in the pasture working good. We still have the naughty horse. He's never left. So um, we still have him. It's been raining the last couple of days and it's been in the 30s. So it's just kind of just slowly melting. Um, I can see over there, it's still probably a couple feet deep. But when it was a little lighter, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but where it's a little bit darker there, I think that's water pooling underneath the snow. So it's been raining now most of today. And the snow, it's so humid out that the snow is not really melting that fast. We're supposed to have some sun next week, so I'm hoping that that'll make it go a little bit faster. Um, last week, like last weekend, some of the weather people were like, oh yeah, it's all going to be melted by next weekend because it's supposed to be in the high 30s most of the week. And I was like, there is no way that this is all going to melt in a week. There's just no way. It's just not possible. And yep, I was right. It is, we still have a ton. Like I said, that's still over my knees there. The garden actually does not look like it got that deep at all so maybe the way it drifted it somehow missed the garden but i can see like right over here it that looks like about at least to my knees there but it was the whole farm it was it was a crazy storm anyways i don't know when we're gonna be able to walk down the path there but okay so i hope you're all thinking about stuff and I hope you're as ready as I am to get started with these gardens this year. And I love doing seedlings. That is one of my one of my favorite parts. I mean, it really is. Everything's, I have a little tiny greenhouse that I actually have inside. I know it's supposed to be outside, but it's not. I have it inside and it just works really well. And my seedlings do really well and they always look really good. And like last year, uh, cause our weather was so horrible that I would like bring some out to the garden and put them in, like they would look great in the greenhouse. And then I'd bring them out here and they just would die. It was terrible. It was very sad. So, um, so I'm going to definitely be using my greenhouse again and get these little seedlings going. I'm going to keep them in as long as I can. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start some of the cool weather stuff. I really, our frost date isn't until like the middle of May here. Where I'm, I'm in 5A, five, five I think. I always get confused if I'm in A or B. I think it's A. So I can't, it's the middle of May. I'm like, that's not fair. Everybody else is like putting stuff in the ground in like April, but nope, we gotta wait. So um, I'm gonna try to be patient and to get this stuff going. It's getting very dark out here. You're not gonna be able to see much longer. You can see that subdivision there. This is good. It's more like foggy over there a little bit than over there, but it's coming. It'll it'll all be foggy shortly. Probably within the next, uh, probably down to about a half hour now. It happens really fast. Like it'll look really nice out and then all of a sudden it's just fog. 
and it's starting to rain pretty hard too. So I think I'm going to be heading in here in a minute and, and I can't wait to hear from everybody and to get this garden going this year. But I'll let you know what I all got. I'll, it'll probably be a week or two before I get the box open because I do want to get one more little order in of, you know, the stuff that I forgot. Because you always forget something the first time you put your orders in. So uh, hopefully those will come pretty quick. My orders have all come really quick already so far. So hopefully this last one will too. And then I'll show you what I all got. So, all right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.